Welcome everyone to an arena video. I'm Andromen Gucci and this video is sponsored to you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com. Later I will uh, post them in other, in other channels. Actually, maybe I should post them in uh, on Instagram as well right now. If you guys don't know, follow me on Instagram. You should follow Mangucci. I'm good zero nine. All right, so I'm gonna lead off with uh, Field of Dead, and then continue. Yalol played some Death Shadow. Oh, really? Nice, nice. I'm happy. Death Shadow. I'm gonna play this land now because I drew a Girl Spiral. So if I draw an Island, I can cast this. Yeah, this is very bad. Very, very much different from uh, from Legacy Shadow, but. All right, our opponent has a Field of Dead, which actually, Field of Ruin, which I actually don't mind if they fire off right now, because they fix my mana. Unless they kill the Death, the Temple Garden. Just like another Telegram, yeah. Oh yes, nice. So they will actually do that. So I'm gonna cast the Growth Spiral now. I'm gonna cast the Growth Spiral now. My opponent can just end up Maybe counter it. Actually, if they counter Growth Spiral, I'm happy, so I'm just gonna let it go. Yeah, this Trent Temple card would be very, very good. Yeah, point is helping. I don't know. Later, if I play control later in the game, it would not be, it would not be helping. We will need it. We will need, uh, you know, all the all the field of dead. This deck usually doesn't mana screw. Like it's very rare that we mana screwed. Of course, now we are. So it's rough. It's it's rough, but. And we kept a three lander. It's very hard that we missed the fourth land with a 29 land deck. 29 land deck, remember. 29. Okay, so we got our card countered. We play in Azur's Guild Gate, and I'm not gonna play in Agroy Crisis for one. I'd rather just pass the opponent's playing slow. Yeah, they are tireless. These goals are tireless here. All right, opponent, you can counter my Sergeus route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess control this deck is basically unlosable. Like the only way you can lose if they if, is if they like stack stick a like the fairy or something into play. Who the views cover up? <laughs> uh, yeah, our opponent uh, is hoping uh, is hoping to counter the fairy, which I guess that's what they did. But if we were on the play, though, who knows? All right, keep on casting Circular's routes here. Just because, like, if this resolves, it's just the best thing that can happen to us. And if this doesn't resolve, sure, you know, we have, we have like everything else. Okay, okay, bow and dark. I mean, in draft, this card is gonna be like, not even the pick, probably. Oh wow, the views cover up. Uh, I think I'll play Drum for Dreams here. I'll probably go to Discord. Three, six, eight, seven. Yeah, the Drum for Dreams will make me go to Discord, but I can't cast anything else. I can't cast Crazies into Narset. I just got two lands here. Or maybe I take the Fairy. Uh, no, I think I'll take two lands. So I'll take the Arch and I'll take a. I don't know. Golgari Gilgate? So I go to three, six, nine card domain. I play one and then I go to discard. I'll discard time wipe. Yeah, I guess Kogari will get this fine. Uh maybe. Because so that with the with the goal of I can just take one red land and then just threaten to to use it immediately. I'm gonna play it because so that on seven land I can ca I can make zombies. I'll discard time wipe. It's pretty bad that the only card that resolved was like the only one that was not ramping. Had we played the had we played Drum for Dreams earlier and now Circle is ready, would have been better. All right, so let's just let them uh, start keep start play more counters here. The views cover up and chemist is inside in their hand. Yeah, Sherlock, I believe so. Whoa, essence scatter is in the format. I didn't remember that. Okay, so the field of death here is gonna be awkward because I don't make token with the next land, but it's a top land and I might just need all my all my mana next turn if I want to cast like next fate or something. Buongiorno, Ale. 
I guess I'm gonna change uh, I'm gonna change the title of my stream. I'm gonna write that we have a spoiler spoiler preview card. Okay. So I wanna have eight mana. I wanna have eight mana here. I'm gonna write spoiler preview card. Let's say I wanna have eight mana to like cast a fairy and golos so that I have the bait. So here we're just gonna cast another Golos and a uh, pass, I think. Yeah, I think it's the best. Hello, Samantha. Essence Cadre number two, it is a uh, very, very strange. Could have played my land in a different way so I could have cast Gorse Power in their turn, that was a mistake. I was busy spoiling my preview card, which in case you didn't find it, it's called Mystical Dispute, and it's a three mana instant that counters a spell, and it costs three less, sorry, two less if you counter a blue card. That is the, my, my preview card. All right, so the Pale Munya Ling. All right, I guess I can, uh, I guess I can die to that. All right, so that are Again, I can't cast them, so it's awkward. Uh, 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 so they still have the views cover up. I'm gonna play Golos and uh, they'll counter it and then I'll pass. I would love to play my spoiler card for sure. Exactly, exactly. I have so many counters. Whoa, how do you know that, wake up BB? How did you do that? The spoiler. I never made that thing. Alright, so we pass. How do you make Cities Blessing? Me? Oh, it's maybe the deck with the easiest Citrus Blessing ever. Uh, we just, the thing is that we didn't resolve a single card. We just have Circular's Route, you know, we just, we just go to up to 10 permanents very easy. My opponent, oh, with this, with the Munia Ling. But then again, I'm not, I'm not afraid of this matchup. We have Field of Dead, so we just have to hit land drop. The problem is that in this game we got Mount Screwed. <laughs> that, that, that's why we're so behind. Yeah, usually, you're, you're never this behind against Control. So ideally here I hide the land, I make two tokens, then I don't know, I draw the fairy, I resolve one, I bounce this. Yeah, the mirror runs Liliana. Alright, no more two tokens. I'll take a forest. Oh no, now I can cast double the fairy if I draw it. It's unfortunate. Oh wow, I got, I, got, I got a free token, that's sweet. All right, Drone for Dreams, four. So, what am I casting here? I think I'm casting Teferi, hoping it resolves. There is, yeah, like, sure, they can have a counter, and, you know, I can't really do much. Mm-hmm. Cast a Circle's Route and pass the turn. Trinder Dream feels like Homelands to All right, I'll get two lands. I'm gonna leave a planes in my deck because my opponent could feel the ruin the last field of death. It would be very, it'll be very bad though if it happens. Already got two field of death hit by the by a field of ruin. You can't have infinite counters. I agree. I think we're gonna be okay here. I just need to, I just need to kill uh, Narset. If I manage to do that, I cast this crazes and then there's no way I lose. And now I have Nexus of Fate in order to just make the attack. Alright, they'll, they'll probably just cast down the token or whatever, Tyrant's Corn. Whatever they want to do. Rest is Contempt, sure. Now I'll cast Nexus of Fate and then I'll cast the Temple because if Nexus of Fate, regardless of what happens, is just, you get shuffled into the deck. I mean, <laughs> that's funny. They're just countering literally everything. Okay, I got a token. Bottom. I have 10 lands right now. No, no, no. Nexus of Fate. Or maybe it can be Exiled, yeah, but uh, is there... Oh, with the... Uh, with uh, the Vios cover-up? Also, my opponent can win with the views cover up. That 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 they, they don't need a win con. If they have two the views cover up, they can never mill themselves. I 
All right, let's attempt to kill Narset. Please, opponent, just have nothing in hand. Just don't have a counter. Just not have a removal spell. See. All right. So let's play crazies for eight. Boom. Draw four. Play Thornfoot Falls, and now the game uh, we win. <laughs> it's funny they played how many counters they played because they shuffled a bunch of them. It might have been like above above ten counters that they play. Ah, <laughs> oh, counter magic are so bad. It makes me so happy that counter magic sucks in the standard because I hate counter magic. So like seeing the fairy and crazes that just joke on them is just the best feeling, honestly. It's just the best feeling. Oh. All right, now we want Will of Summer. <laughs> Will of Summer. Will of Summer is one of the cryptic commanding as them. The Bob the Creed. Probably not, but I'm pretty sure they play at least Ashiok. Agent of Treachery. I mean, no, actually, I don't have to cut much. Maybe I don't want the Bob the Creed. I guess Ashiok is annoying. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna put it in. Let's go like this. I'm gonna keep the Agent of Treachery. Why I hate counter magic? I don't know. It's just um, it's good to just leave uh, people play. Like in cube, counter magic are very sad and bad, and cube is like the purest form of magic in my eyes. Mm -mm -mm. All right. What do you think about the legacy results from the quarterly? X Xvigor is powerful, it seems. I don't. I can never. I, I, I don't know. I whenever I got involved with the X drinker, it always felt very bad to me. I can't believe it's good. I can't honestly. I can't believe it's good. Like I, I'm happy that people win with it. But any time I saw him play, it was like the easiest thing to kill, and it did nothing. Like even even freaking Vernon Six kills it. How can you play a card like that? All right, search for us, Kanta. I'm going to play Hollowed Fountain, and I'm gonna play a Growth Spiral. I'll do it main phase because we have oh crazes. But probably should play Thought Erasure though. It's very weird that they didn't play last turn. Do you have a main win condition with this deck? What? There's so many creatures. Also zombies. Zombies, zombies. Is two crazy or two for his lot for Veil? In this deck, or do you sideboard that card in ever? I mean, it's in the sideboard, so I guess I do sideboard that card. It's it's not very good. I can I can give you that. But whenever you need it, like like you don't need Veil of Summer. Like like in the matchup where Veil of Summer is good, your deck is already like the best thing ever. Like, you can't lose to these decks. Like, not even if you... Like, the, the only way you can lose to this deck is if you make Mana Screw. That's the only way you're going to lose to these decks. Not even Mana Flood. So you don't need more against the the good matchups. You need more against the bad matchups. It's it's usually zombies. It's usually zombies. Crazy is, is not very good in this deck because it's very bad with Golos. Speaking of Golos. All right, although uh, I prefer going for Crazes here. Because this will guarantee me two cards, even if they counter it. And uh, they have to counter or kill it, because otherwise it's just a big card. It's not that big, because they have the Munya link, but still, it's pretty big. So, yeah, I mean, I was expecting our opponent to counter something, so I just... I was just happy to cash in two cards. And replacement for crazes. Any replacement for crazes. Um, mm, not really. I don't know. You get an emblem. I know you control a top draw card. All right, I'll lose to this Munya Link card here. Yeah, if I had a field of dead, I could have been able to make a token with the Nexus, but unfortunately, I don't. I'll use to the emblem probably. You, I know you control a top draw card. Luckily, you only have one island, so, so there's that. All right, what do we do? I don't even have lands to go like Nexus and do things. This is awkward. This is very awkward. 
So I think I want to just get a Field of Dead with my Drawn for Dreams. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'll tap in a way where I can cast Teferino. So I'll play Drawn for Dreams. Doesn't go as guaranteed field. Yes. Yes. But I also wanted to just look for other options. Well, I need to charge my computer, but also roping. All right, so now we have this big option of what do we do? Because I found both the cards that I wanted to find. I think I'm just gonna play Field of Dead and then just gonna grow Spire by opponent turn so that I can make two zombies. Golos goes under Essence Scatter, which I put and play two copies in game one. It was just a bunch of things that made me play Drawn for Dreams, which I can't really tell you what it was, but I don't know. I'm, I'm very happy with the outcome, by the way. All right, I'm gonna go charge my computer here. I'll wait end of turn to cast this Growth Spiral. All right, so they got an emblem. Island they control have top draw card. Narset to, blo to, to, to block draw? No, not in their turn. In their turn I can draw. So now I go Growth Spiral. In their turn it doesn't. All right, Spell Pierce, wow, okay. Untap. Drawn for Dreams. All right, let's start off with attacking on Narset. Now, I have a couple of options. One is to play Teferi, because I couldn't let us resolve the Nexus, the, the what's called uh, the other thing earlier, so I think I'm going to play Teferi here. How many cards do you have in the graveyard? Seven. So I can just bounce the search here. I think I want to play the fairy circles route end of turn. All right, that chemist was inside in response. Sure, I'm gonna bounce the search here. Actually, no, let's not do that. Or I don't draw a card because of Narset. Let's just plus. Play a forest and uh, should I play a goal loss here? Because is there a sweeper that I can play? I don't know. I think I'll play Golos. I don't have mana to activate it, not even close, so maybe I should just play Circus Route. Right now I have three, six, eight. So I got up to 10, I need 12 to cast Golos and activate it immediately. Yeah, I think I'll cast Golos here. I think it's just better. I make it so much zombies that maybe I just win the game next turn with Nexus. Yeah, yeah. Ritual Suit would do, because it would kill four tokens. And I don't have I don't have like mana at all to activate to activate this. I just only drew banned lands. Usually you, it's, not, it's very hard to activate this unless you cast a circular route. Um, I so that last turn the letters resolved the drawn for dreams. So I think that they didn't have a, a counter magic. That's why I played like that's why I just jammed with the fairy there. So it's all good here. Four cards. I don't think they can ever deal with these. Uh, Munia Ling. Island you control if tap draw card. They got an emblem with this. Four cards left. They need. They really need a lot. Do you have a spoiler card? Has it been done yet? Hello, Matthew Ori. Yes, this is my card. Mystical Dispute. Three mana. Instant. This spell cost still has to be cast. Counter tag a spell unless it's control of place three. Why is there also the bird token on the emblem? Oh, that, that, this is just the, everything that the Munia Link can do. All the tokens that Munia Link can do. The emblem and the elemental bird. All right. Yeah, it's the backside of the emblem, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good card, it's a good card. It's a good card. All right, opponent uh, not only plays a mono counter deck, but also Disconnects when they lose. This is like that the ultimate, the ultimate bad banners. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a great card. It was a great card. I think it will be, it will be very good in the in the eternal formats. Yeah, might see vintage play, but also but also legacy. I think 
because very often people splash for red land of blast while while this card does not kill uh, uh, let's say a narset or a jace in play any um it's still very good it's still very good all right i'd rather a uh, conos 1707 please shut up i don't want those like random italian complain also false this will be a cycle i think so i think it will be a cycle i don't know this is the first one but i mean they have to start some places right all right i'm just gonna attack them and then play nexus and then attack them but uh, of course they're disconnected is it better than the one mana counter spell um it is better than the one i don't want my counter spell One R deal three damage to a creature, cost one less R if it's red. Yeah, I can, I can see that. It could be maybe two, two red. All right, this is just the worst. Whenever your opponent just disconnects on you, but that's fine. Yeah, like the classic dead on board disconnection. That is that that is a feature of magic guys, of magic, of magic players, magic players all over the world. Can you please explode after the third one? Explode, please. All right, thank you. Thank you. If you play Magic Online, you know that this is the, you know that this is the classic. All right, ninth place again. Ninth place. Let's not lose two elementals now. All right. Is Pell Pierce rotating? Yes, Pell Pierce is rotating. Yes, it is. It is from Ixalan. Did the counter spell spoiler say counter any spell? Yeah, any spell, any spell. Counter target spell unless it's controller plays three. So it's a three mana mana leak and it costs two less if it's blue. I don't think it's a cyborg card. I think it's like a main deck card, but it... Um... When you go to one, you become king of magic. No, you can just brag. You can just brag on social media, that's it. Ah, uh, why? Why do they drink so bad? Uh, what's this hand? I think I'll get a five. All right. I'll bottom a drum for dreams and a craze this year. Keep five. Crazes and drum for dreams. Hello, says opponent. Let's say hello to them. I start with the Isa Gilgate. Yeah. Always need to focus on your uh, on your lands here. Temple of Triumph is, is is fine. I can still play Teferi next turn. Yeah, I'll play Temple of Triumph. Because I need lands at the bottom. Growth Spiral would have been great here, but not good anymore. If you had to replace Grazer in the sideboard, would you add? I don't understand why people want to replace Grazer in the sideboard. It keeps in check the matchup that are not that great. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Clambo, sorry. I uh, maybe Sentinel Totem because that's not a bad matchup. Because like this deck is like ze under zero matchups. Like all the control deck, like a guy that plays Divination, will we will beat him. But you know, a person that plays uh, another uh, an, an aggressive deck, maybe that can beat us. So we need uh, the Grazer, especially on the draw. All right. Don't want another land. Why well, keep Golos over Drawn on a multi five? Because Drawn for Dreams is uh, good, but it doesn't let us win. It just lets us get a card advantage. Whereas Golos now, Golos, if we cast it, let's say we draw a land, and then we cast Golos, and then we can just win with it. Like it's a win con in some matchups. Oh, an Electromancer. Wow. Goblin Electromancer. All right, I'm bouncing it. I can now bolt my Teferi, but so be it. Alright, I'll play Golos, get a Field of Dead pass. I wanted to get a land so I can make a zombie, but missed. Eternal format. Yeah, in Eternal will be played very much, I agree. Alright. Do they have a line instrument? Many poems play, uh, plays like Blue Red Phoenix. Blue Red Phoenix is a deck. Even if some people don't play it anymore. All right, so Vita Fairy is gone. So they could like counterspell my Circus route. Sure, I'll let them. Uh, I'll let them do it. So I cast Circus route here. 
I'll get a uh, Golgari Gilgate and uh, that's Warriors. I get two tokens, I'll play a Temple Garden and get another token and then I'll pass. And attacking for three, down to 17. Looting in standard. Mm -hmm. I don't think Wizards wants to do these things. Also, they design card two years in advance and they ban cards, you know, not two years in advance. So that, that definitely is not a consideration. Maybe in like in two years, if they wanted to make that as consideration. All right, that's a main face chemistry's insight. Right, Goblin Electromancer. Number two. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to attack with all. Then I'll play Nexus of Fate with a land. Then I'll activate Golos. Yeah, it takes a lot to design cards. You have to design them. There's like three teams that design them. And then you have the, um, the people that makes the card. And then you have the people that prints the card. So it's a very, very long process. All right, let, they're on eight. The block two of this, they take six. Yeah, so let's activate Golos here because if I find a bounce spell, I just win the game now. Un, due, tre, perfect. So we play the fairy, we bounce that and they're dead on board. Mm, yeah, the block that is dead on board. All right, good game. I don't know what's my point I'm playing. I guess uh, Phoenix is the answer, but still, I don't want to board in. Uh, I don't still don't want. I still don't want to board in. Um, you know, I'm more eager for Phoenix. I don't think it's an answer. Speaking of which, Jumpstart was worse flashback, but the kind of was fast to play. Yeah, Jumpstart was good. Chemist was inside as Jumpstart. Too bad that now they printed the um, Narset, so Chemist inside is like unplayable. And you also have now Drawn for Dreams, so Dr uh, Chemistry Inside really got an update, an, an upgrade with, with the Drawn for Dreams. Alright. I probably want Baffling End, and maybe even the Devout Decree. I've got two of these, one of this. Maybe Devout Decree, because this also deals with uh, the Phoenix. Yeah, I can do something like this. Yeah, this is one of the things that makes Magic unique, is that they have a very good play design team. Like the play design in Magic is, is, is amazing. You don't you, because they can't they can't craft cards. The Phoenix will get some discard draws by on the drain. Yeah, that that will be sweet. Arcade Phoenix is definitely a unique card and now it's not gonna be very much played in modern, but it can be it can be, you know, still exploited in other formats. Whoa, look at this field of dead. They seem like they're printed in different languages. Because this is smaller and this is larger. Alright, I'll keep this 7. This sounds super slow. Did you expect this deck to shift into Eldritch Moon? El uh, that's not Eldritch Moon. Uh, yeah, I think it can shift in that match, in that meta game. Alright, I'll play Hollow the Fountain here. So that if I draw a uh, Gross Spiral, I can cast it. Yeah, I mean, maybe without Elvish Rejuvenator and Nexus, it's going to be worse, but every deck is going to be worse. So, it has to post being confirmed that we're not getting Rare Cycle Land of Dua. You know what? I was thinking. I was thinking that if we don't get Rare Land Cycle in, in a drain, we can get Uncommon. Right? We could easily get Uncommon, I think. Because if you think about it, they have the Night, right? The Night Land. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Temple of Mystery here. I just don't want another, another card with the same name. Like, you, you, you have the Knight that is uncommon. Prismatic Vista at uncommon. What? You think we'll ever see Sakura Tribe Elder in Standard again? Uh, see Sakura Tribe Elder in Standard. Mm, probably not. No, I don't think so. All right, let's play Golos. Yeah, I play is not doing anything. And we get very close to have like turn 5 kill with this end. 
I could predict mono red creature land. Mono color creature land, that's sweet. Yeah. Rosewater said no rare dual land cycle, but there will be a rare land cycle. Okay. I love how Maro just en enjoys to tease people. Uh, I met Maro two times in, in the headquarters, and he was just always like doing all this like tricky, tricky things. Or like, there will be no rare cycle, but. <laughs> so I have five land, yeah, I just make like six tokens here. No, no, where is it? All right, GG Raceline Head Burger. Ooh, copy. Sweet. Look at this. I'm playing with mana screw. They're just gonna ramp up mana. <laughs> nice, nice expansion. Boom. Take that. But also, boom. Take that. Six tokens. You can go. Never imagine Marasim. Teepling his fingers like a bone, yeah. Crackling Drake. I was expecting something better, honestly, opponent. I was expecting, like, I don't know, a Clarion plus expansion to kill my board. Instead, all my creatures are here, ready to attack you. Coloss also there. Yeah, Beanstalk Giant, yeah, I said that I said that a couple of days ago. Beanstalk Giant could be a replacement, but that is going to be different, definitely. So the the new event on Arena, Standard 2020, is uh, like a standard event without the new cards, right? Sorry, without the, the cards that rule it out. That that's a very cool event. I'm so glad that that Arena exists and like you can have like this great event. Where you can start practicing so early. Yes, I'm definitely gonna play only that. So I really hope to get first on the ladder so that I can play only that because that, that also practiced me a lot for the new for the new PT. Because I have I have I have a Mythic Championship Arena at the beginning of, of October with standard. So I would love to play that event. Is this decretation proof? No, no, it is not. Or not putting that on board. Yes, yes, it is. You, you have you have Rejuvenator and Hexes that wrote it out. You can replace Rejuvenator, but you can't really replace Nexus. Come on, pull and die! What's up with this today? We're playing against only like random decks, and they like never die when they're dead on board. I don't know what's happening. Did we just get in the bracket of uh, I don't know? Noobs. All right, please, opponent, just surrender. Actually, I don't even want to bounce. Just attack and die. Please, opponent, surrender. Surrender. Either way, I've, I've talked this a lot. What's this deck worst matchup? Oh, it's Kithis by far. What would be the best deck after rotation in your opinion? I think Nisa. Nisa would be definitely very good. Alright, top 5, top 5, top 5, top 5. 7. Okay. Some more, some more, some more. Yeah, it doesn't have Lana or Elf, but you know, it's still. Yeah, no more Lana or Elf, but Sneeze is still like amazing. Like the first deck that I'm gonna play on uh, on Magic 2020 is gonna be Bant Ramp. Actually, maybe not even Bant. Maybe just Blue Green Ramp. Hmm. Quasi Duplicate is in the format, right? Yes. So I'm gonna play Quasi Duplicate Ramp. What did you add instead of Lana what do you have instead of Lanoir? There's the Incubation Druid. Golden Goose, yeah, Golden Goose is great. Golden Goose and Aqua are great. Simic Flash, no, I don't play Flash. I still respect the Teferi a lot. Yeah, Golden Goose, Golden Goose is, uh, is good, yes. We played Golgari Midrange like last year. Oh, maybe. I mean, Garak is great. So then it's gonna be basically rotation minus of the drain. I think so, Clambo. I don't know. That's I mean the name. If you read the name, standard twenty twenty. So it feels like that, right? I obviously can't play a drain because it's not out yet. Oh wow, my hand is mono top land. It is unfortunate. All right, let's play Tom Footfalls and pass. I'm 
Yeah, a lot of decks are staying after rotation. You know why? Because Ixalan was like a garbage set in Ixalan. There was like not a single good card other than like land. And then you had... Uh, and then you have... Um, Magic 19, which is, you know, a core set, so it's not going to change that much. And then you have Dominaria, which was, like, very strong. So you basically have, like, with mono set, you're sorting out Dominaria. Everything else, sure, it's sorting out, like, you're losing Enigma Drake, but you don't really care. What is happening today? Why are we playing against all these decks today? <laughs> I don't understand. It's, like, the third decks in a row that is, like, what? Oh, no! We missed Rejuvenator! Ow! Do you to that? I don't think that's very good, Shikusho. Yeah, I haven't seen anything in my Dragon Ages. Me too, me too. <laughs> no, why can't you be in the top six? Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. So that's Circus Route. The top five, sorry. He, he was actually in the top six. So he got two land out. Ah. <sighs> And uh, a tougher one. Yeah, Skusha. It's just, you can't really play cards that don't do anything when they come to play. That is not a thing that you can play, okay? Because, if I remember correctly, that's a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three that, let's just take a look again. I don't think it was very good, right? It was a 4 mana 3-3 three, three when that was like created two food tokens. Yeah, you know? It was a format three that maybe creates food tokens. You know? Three mana? Wasn't it four mana? It was four mana. Alright, so I do have seven lands, but I don't have the the, the, the the best card. Also probably that on board here. So I need to do something. Am I gonna lose? I think I'm gonna lose. I mean when you break on Elvish Rejuvenator, you're probably gonna lose. Yeah, no to be effect. No ATB effect is uh, the biggest thing whenever it comes to this card. That's why I don't think Bone is playable or, uh, you know, Oketra, okay, all those things. Good morning, Captainus. Also, we don't know the impact of food tokens yet. Dive down, that's for four. Do they have Shock? Shock will be lethal. Shock all. Oh, shit, you can't have Shock, I have the Fairy. Alright, I'm on three life. Three life is not very safe, especially because they have two. Uh. Alright, I got Thud. Thud. What are the odds of the fairy getting banned? It's not gonna get banned. Stop. Well, why do you. Oh, Mamma Mia. What do you say versus the Kithis deck? Uh, thanks for chat. You go to Estimation Mark sideboard and you see the cyber guide. There it is. We, also, we actually do the same right now because I don't. Oh no, I'm not playing against Kitties. I'm playing against a, another random deck. So we want Buffling End and the Val Decree. And uh, that's probably it. Yes. The Bora Grizzard does block, but I don't, I'm not about it. We board out Time Wipe. One route, one drawn. And Submittal. How are, are you top mythic facing junk? I, I know, right? I don't understand. Probably there's literally no one playing standard right now. Because it's also understandable. Because people go like, they want to play, they want to play the... Also, it's Monday morning. Monday morning. I'm having fun playing Blue White Stone for Jim Mother. Nice. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy that everyone is having fun. I also had fun playing Tron in Popper. Back in the days, now I haven't played Pauper in a while. I'm not having too much fun having opening these very bad ends. Keep six, bottom of goal loss, play is a Gilgate go. You know, some people work on Monday morning, and everybody's a streamer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. All the hairdresser are online. <laughs> That's true. Hey, yo, where are my forests? It's not the lower card doesn't get banned. N not good cards don't get banned. Not very good cards don't get banned. 
Forest. Alright, bubbling and negate. Ooh. Negate. Okay, if I draw forest next turn, I think I'm fine. Don't play don't play Enigma Drake. This cover is okay. You hate this game? Yeah, you should play Brisco de Tresette. There's no mana screw there. You get a card every turn. And there's no mana involved. Alright, crush through, no attack, because this turn is defensive turn for Terramander. And I play a top land that isn't green, and I pass the turn. Morning, Andrea. Morning, guys. Good morning, Xero. Alright, Warrior Fury. Yes. Will our opponent attack us? Okay, they do. Draw two cards. Can I draw land? No, I can't. The fairy. <laughs> uh, do you? So fierce. Damn it, there's a six. Alright, just getting beat up by blue red phoenix. Play their own seal away. Yeah, seal away is still in the form as well. Alright, crush through, sure. So yeah, yeah, then play one blue and make an five five. They don't do it. They feel like this time no, not good. Alright, crackling Drake. I don't time wiping my deck unfortunately. So then the mana to cast it. Alright, I think this guy we're gonna surrender. Alright, great 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 performance from the Ghost Field deck today. Sorry, today, now.